Hey guys, welcome back. So in the last video, we have created a floating action button over here. So in this video, we will now on the click of this button, we will pop up a menu to add the item to the database. So let's start. So first of all, to create and pop up, first create and pop up dot XML file inside this layout folder. Now convert this constant layout to linear layout. Okay, so and add the orientation to this layout of a vertical. Now inside this add one card layout, card view and take the width of match parent and height match parent. Now inside this card layout, take an relative layout and give height of width of match parent and height of wrap content. Give padding of 25 dp. So it will be in the center. Okay. Now inside this relative layout, declare an text view give height and width of wrap content give id to this text view of title at the id title give text size text size of 18 sp give text style of bold give text of at the rate string add item so, uh, enter item we will later declare this string variable inside this where inside this value folder string dot xml and give layout center horizontal to true ok now take an edit text and give height and width width of match parent height of rep content give id to the edit text of grocery item okay now give layout layout below of title give margin of 8 dp and give auto fill hint it will give the hint to the edit text to the string slash in item ok and now give hint of at the rate string slash int item and give input type of text ok now ok add another edit text give id of quantity and uh, Replace the hint with quantity. Okay, give margin top of 32 dp. Okay, and it will be layout below grocery item. Okay, and give input type of number.
log int item value will be enter name string quantity enter quantity and last one for the button button text save okay this name and the string name that must be the same otherwise it will give an error okay so now our design is ready now we will write code inside this main activity on the click of this button we will pop up this main okay so we will declare the edit text and button over here private edit text grocery item grocery quantity private button save button okay so on the click of this floating action button we will display an alert dialog dialog to show this layout so for that we will need to use alert dialog over here private alert dialog dot builder dot builder will build the dialog and private alert dialog dialog ok so now and button floating action button fab is equal to find view by id r dot id dot fab okay. fab dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener so on the click of this floating action button we will implement one method to show this layout okay we we'll create a method name create pop up dialog okay create method okay now let's call dialog builder over here dialog builder is equal to new alert dialog dot builder this this will create an alert dialog over here now we will take the view to declare this layer to call the edit item and button over here view get layout inflector dot inflect r dot layout dot pop up so this will call the xml file pop up dot xml which we have created and uh, it will use its uh, text view and edit text button over here ok so grocery item is equal to view dot uh, find view by id r dot id dot quantity uh, r dot id dot grocery item okay okay grocery quantity is equal to view dot find view by id r dot id dot quantity save button is equal to 
view dot to find the view by id r dot id dot save button now we will implement the dialog builder to set the view inside the dialog so dialog builder dot set view view and to show this dialog implement dialog is equal to dialog builder dot create create method will create the dialog builder when we click this floating action button and to show this dialog we need to implement dialog dot show okay so now we will implement on click listener on the save button so save button dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener okay if grocery item dot get text dot to string is empty okay. if not empty and not a grocery quantity dot get text dot to string dot is empty then if both the value of the name and quantity are not empty then for now we will toast and message toast dot make text get application context comma on the we will for now we will show the entered value so name grocery item plus quantity grocery quantity and show the toast toast dot length long length long dot so okay so now let's check whether it is running properly or not so let's check enter name for quantity 10 save okay so the data are coming so the toast message is coming but it is coming little bit different due to this uh, layout inflector so in the next video we will create and database handler class and and grocery class and inside that class we will implement the getter setter method to get the data and uh, insert into the database so in next video on the click of this button we will insert the data into the database by creating a method inside this if condition so see you guys in the next video Please like, share and don't forget to subscribe. Clueless Tech.